Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So, for our fun and simple craft today, I just thought we would make just a really simple standalone little sort of folio thingamajig. Um, nice and simple. So I have got some papers, this is the um, Vintage Collage Collection, which is beautiful, I haven't used these for ages. Um, and I also have some little embellishment bits as well on here look at that just beautiful isn't it um it's so nice to get my kits out again so i've got some tags i've got some little words on there as well and there's a couple of sort of postcards which i have in here so let's see so i'm just going to sort of like make it up um as we go along shall we just use this one it's just going to be like a little um cover thingy folio so let's just see shall we fold that how should we do that what should we do should we just do it like that let's see if we can fit a tag we want to do it so we have a tag we have to pop a tag in there so let's do it like that so so we can just about see love on there I'm not going to put the tag on the outside I want to put sort of like put the tag on the inside like that as a little sort of pocket so let's see should we have that should we fold this one over this way that looks all right doesn't it it's like a little little folio thing of a jig there we go and that's the back. I love this little bird. Okay, that's easy peasy, isn't it? So it's just I've printed on the back of this as well. But again, you use any any um, digital papers, papers, um, paper bags, whatever you think you can use. So shall we put that? Look, I've got a couple of tags, which is a nice one. Let's see. Oh, I do love that little bird. Maybe we'll use the little bird. Shall we pop the little bird on there? Because I thought we could pop a little pocket there. So as a as a nice big tag. <clears throat> and then we could pop these tags inside. Like that. So it's a tag pocket with tags in it. Quick and simple. Right, that's that will do so what I'm going to do I'm just going to bend that this way and just ink this up a little bit I think I might sew around it I think I will just give it a quick sew around in a minute so there we go let's just pop a little bit of ink on here I just wanted to do something that's quite simple but not in the journals you can put this in a journal but I thought it would be lovely as well as a little bit of happy mail because I know you guys like to send things out um, or you can just build up your stash um, which is nice and but these are nice to be made up and just so you've got a little gift ready for somebody if somebody comes around and visits or something or you go somewhere you can take a little present with you just a little quick ink up because it does make a difference because you can see um, where you've cut it because my printer just gives a little white border around so I have to cut it off um, and it gives that little edge that little white edge but if you just rub a little bit of ink along it now I use the distress ink which is the vintage photo from Ranger which is Tim Holtz and I've got these little finger daubers and I love it I love these um, I do swap between this one and this one as well um, but these are so easy like that so a little bit of ink on there perfect now shall I shall I sew around this one or should I just stick it in and then sew around the whole lot so he is stuck in what do you think I think I might what we're going to do with this side what shall we do what have we got on here 
look at this this is lovely this is like a belly band should we just have a little pad of paper on there we could pop that in I do like that and we could pop that at the top and just sew some paper to it shall we do that let's have a look just a little bit that's a little bit too big this way just a little coffee stained paper that's what we could do wouldn't we but we don't need all of that so if we fold this up there about there let's do it about there let's just have an idea of what we're going to put on the back on this one some little scruffy bits of paper I wonder if we can use it all let's just tear that down tear this down so that's in half and then this piece needs to just be folded over a little bit or maybe I'll keep that for something else so that's about the right size isn't it and then shall we just sew that to there maybe I'll just cut that off let's just cut that little piece off I do like that and then we could sew this paper together let me get a few more sheets of paper oops oops that's one of my tubes I was doing in my video yesterday so let's bend this up to here so they're roughly the same size a little bit of eyeballing here but do get your cutter out if you want to use your cutter and have it nice and straight but I quite like it when it's a bit scruffy and it's simple we're trying to keep it nice and simple aren't we so let's just do that. Let's just cut that little bit off. We don't want that little bit, do we? So I think I'll use three pages. So then when we've got six bits of paper on here. There we go. Let's do a, another one that on there that's the bit we cut off on there and we will fold that up oops I missed oh look that looks like a little heart on there let's just put my finger there bend this up like that. I still haven't done any more paper I was going to do some more in the garden um, but it's been pretty windy um, so I haven't made any more yet but I really do need to make it before the sun disappears because it's the nice um, summer sunshine that dries the paper all lovely and crispy and I just love that sound okay so oh look we'll have to have that on the front won't we Okay, let's pop these together like that they're all roughly a little bit different in size but that doesn't matter so I'm going to just pop that on the top and sew that together and then I'm going to sew that together and then look it's got these little edges that works out perfect hang on a minute why is this longer did I cut I'll have to cut a little bit more off that aren't I because it's going to go over the end oh well so much for making it quick and easy let me get me a little chopper let's just chop that off should have done that in the beginning shouldn't I really there we go that's better isn't it that fits okay let's Oh, wrong piece. Let's put this on here. I will sew that, I think, and then I'm going to stick that on like that. And that's our lovely, look at that lovely little heart on there. Okay, so that's that piece. I'll do that in a minute. 
but this one I think what I might do is sew around this bit here and then stick it on and then sew around the whole thing and I think I'm going to pop how many tags shall I pop in here because we've got or I can put this one in because that goes with the outside doesn't it that one is lovely Shall we just put two in there I think let's just have two nice tags right I'm going to sew around these as well so I'm going to sew just this little bit on here it's only so I don't double stitch it on there and then I'm going to sew that to that like that and sew all around it so I will be two seconds okay so there we go I have just I sewed around this bit and then I've just sewn around the whole bit there oh and I did my tags there we go I've just sewn around the two tags which is lovely so they can just slide in there like that or well, we could put a word on these couldn't we what we've got I've got these little words here that come in there shall we just do love and peace on there let's just put those two on let's just ink it down i think words just you know are a really nice thing to finish off or just add a little extra to something so i'm not going to add too much to these because i think they look really nice as they are um so it's a nice little peaceful bird isn't it so let's just pop this on and i'm just going to glue that on just there like that I'm not going to pop anything else underneath it no fabric or anything um, I'm just going to do it very very basic like that lovely just a little bit of tacky glue and that just fits on there just gorgeous now do we need to put something on here with the little birdie what should we have or oh, we could have wish we could have romance we've got imagine or oh, we got birds shall we put birds or oh, actually in here we've got harmony now i do like that word i've got lots here i've got lots and lots of vintage inspire rose now I'm going to go for harmony, I think that's a lovely word isn't it, let's just ink around the edge, like this, obviously you can put whatever words on that you like um, and if you're going to give it as a gift you can just fit it into whatever, whoever you're giving it to can't you, you could use it as a little birthday one as well. Look at that, that just looks lovely. So this is a really nice, simple one, isn't it? So let's just pop that in there. Let's pop that in there like that. So we've got two beautiful tags like that. Now this is what I was doing, wasn't it? Let's just pop this to the side. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just quickly just pop a tiny bit of glue on here. And just stick them down just to stop them moving around just a tiny little bit just so when I sew it they are going to be in place sort of let's hope anyway let's pop that on there let's not forget to put our little hearty one on the front because that's so pretty put that down and there we go super simple shall we ink this a little bit get rid of those little white lines on there just around the edge and then what we want to do I'm going to just glue that on I think and then those edges can be glued down so let's just 
little bit of glue because I'm going to sew it anyway. Put it this way so I can see. There we go. Perfect. And then this. And so for sewing it, I'm just going to stick those two ends down like that. Love it. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, so I think what I will do, I'm actually going to sew around the whole thing like that. So I will be two seconds. Okay, so there we go. That looks really nice. So you can see how I've just sewn that on there like that. I'm going to just stick that on. And then this can just fold up. And then we can pop something on the front. Nice, super simple one. I'm going to pop it on with a little bit of um, three in one. I'll have to stick that down. I don't think those other ones are just going to hold it enough, are they? Let me stick that down. Like that. How lovely is that? Okay, so what sh shall we do? We need a little closure, don't we? So let's have a look. What shall we do? I bought some macrame string stuff, which I thought I might use. Let's pop that over there. What can we do? I've got all these lovely little embellishment bits. So I've got this, which I thought might be quite nice as... A little tie closure we could sort of like fluff that up not that I've ever done macrame I just brought this because it was like three euros something for this great big piece like piece this great big reel of it so I thought that was really good so I might have to give that a go at some point Should we have a little tassely bit I think you get little combs or something don't you to comb this out I'm not very good at that bit so what shall we do oh there's a piece of lace on there shall we do it so we just tie it tie it in a little bow with a little dingly dangly bit let's do that and then maybe I can do a bow on it just tie another little knot just so it doesn't unravel have any of you guys done macrame um, let me know if you have because it looks really good fun to do but I need to give it a go don't I oh look that looks lovely doesn't it okay so how should we keep that in place? Should we stick it on the back? Oh look, we could stick that. Should we stick that on the back? Oh, what are the ones have we got? Oh, we've got the little birdie, haven't we? That would look nice. What do you think? Yeah, we don't want anything too fussy, do we? I've inked that up, I think, as well. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to just stick it down with a little bit of glue around here. Leave a little gap in the middle. And put that on as that sort of in the middle. There we go. Lovely. Now we're not going to lose it. Look at that. That looks great, doesn't it? on straight yes look at that oh how pretty is that so when we undo it it's not going anywhere because it's attached at the back but you can still pull it through lovely love that so guys what else can we put on the front I do like this little tie looks like one of the little curtain ties doesn't it with the little bits on the bottom I suppose you could pop little beads on there as well. Oh, I like that. Do we want anything else on here? What about this little birdie? I do like the little birdie. What's this one? Oh, 
a little flower. Shall we pop? We could pop a word on the front as well, couldn't we? What shall we have? Shall we just let's have a nice wish? Shall we pop that on there like that? That looks nice, doesn't it? I hope you're all agreeing with me. So there we go. Or well, you're telling me to add something else instead. I want to keep it quite sort of like simple um, so you can make it out of whatever you have, any little embellishments you've got. Now I think, should we do it so it goes around the back? Should I bend that there and stick that on? And that just adds that little extra at the back, doesn't it, as well? What do you think? I might just open that up. Like this, maybe glue that on. I think that will be the easiest way. Let's see, oops, I've gone around the front. Stick that down. Perfect. And then what did we do with our little wish? Here it is. And then that can go on there like that. Lovely. Oops. Stick that on there. And there we go. We've got a nice little wish. A little, little wish folio. And I think that's lovely. Do you think that's stuck down? looks good doesn't it let's just bend that perfect oops don't want to squash that that goes on there loving it absolutely loving it and we have our little our little tie closure like that Oh, I'm going to have to get a little comb and see if I can comb that to make it like fluffy. I think they do make it fluffy, don't they? Look at that. Super, super simple. I know it's not sort of like a new idea, um, but we do forget how to do sort of like the simpler things. And if you wanted to make a thing that's a little bit quick and easy, um, this is really good to do, isn't it? And I think it looks really, really lovely. So there we go, guys. That's a little folio, little fun and simple one. Opens up. We've got a couple of little tags. Obviously, you can pop whatever you like in little pockets, can't you? But I like the tag pocket like that. And then we've got just a few lovely little pages on there, which is just stuck on at the top. And it just folds in together. So super simple. So thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I hope you'll give it a go. Don't forget to pop the pictures in the um, Facebook group if you make something. Um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love you to. Um, and if you pop, um, hit the little bell, you'll be notified every time I pop on a new video. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Have fun making. Take care. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.